36 families from the Tunapuna community now have a brand new home. These families received the keys for their residences on Friday during a ceremony at the Tunapuna Community Center. The recipients were encouraged to make the house a home and create memories with their families. Here's more. Through the Housing and Village Improvement Program or HVIP program under the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development's Land Settlement Agency, 36 families are now more comfortable and begin new lives in brand new homes. We can proudly say that now we have a home of our own that is safe and secure for ourselves and our families. I believe just as this program has helped us and the other beneficiaries and the other recipients, that it will help many others in the future. Minister of Housing and Urban Development, Camille robinson Regis explained that the HVIP program facilitated the financing and technical expertise to construct these two-bedroom homes. She said the program has already changed the lives of a total of 459 families by providing similar housing options to citizens. The 36 starter homes being officially handed over today were built at an approximate cost of $5.94 million. I repeat that, $5.94 million these homes have cost the government of Trinidad and Tobago. And I want to reiterate that these homes are free. The minister noted that the program has benefited families in Maruga, Princess Town, Beetham Gardens, St. Augustine and Claxton Bay, among other areas. Additionally, through the government-aided self-help housing program, another program under the LSA, other families were able to secure safe housing. In total, we have successfully provided an alternative shelter option to just over 500 families under that specific program since its inception in 2018. More importantly, it means that we are clearing over 500 names from the HDC's burgeoning list of applicants. The program is also expected to be expanded. 84 more structures are currently under construction with plans within the 2023 fiscal year to construct similar structures.